Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In this video we're going to talk about tuning F5 ASM policy for DVWA. In previous video, if you remember, we talked about how we can set up and configure F5 ASM policy for down vulnerable web application. Uh, and in this video we're gonna uh, go ahead and start tuning that policy and make sure it's actually working properly. To refresh your mind, this is the setup that we have. We have a client, obviously, which is our workstation. We have F5 with the virtual IP address of 172.21.14.250. And we have our DVWA or down vulnerable web application with the IP address of 172.21.131.26. So as you can see, F5 works as a proxy in between the client and the application. And basically, we set up our WAF policy here to basically protect that vulnerable application over there. So we're going to head over to our um, F5 interface. As you can see, this is our um, F5 interface. And uh, if you remember, we basically set up a policy here. So I just go to the security policies and you can see that we created a simple DVWA policy with rapid deployment. And that is available there, sitting in transparent mode. So it's just listening to the traffic, not blocking anything at the moment. We have our <coughs> vulnerable web application, which is 172.21.131.26. So that is the actual uh, website itself directly connecting to it. And this is 172.21.14.250 is the virtual IP of our F5 appliance. And as you can see, uh, this is basically pretty pretty simple uh, uh, proxy configuration that we connect to the virtual IP and F5 basically connects back to our DVWA uh, app on, on the back end. So now we have this in place. If we just browse to the web interface, just go to a few different you can see that I'm, I'm clicking on a few different pages and then we just head over to our F5. So you can see all these. Head over to our F5. And basically the first thing we need to do when we are actually checking our um, F5 policies is the policy building. So we look at the traffic learning to see if there is anything which has been learned. So you can see I haven't done anything special yet. So I've been obviously just clicking on pages here, uh, just browsing and I haven't done anything special. So if we move into blocking mode right now, if we move into blocking mode right now, because you see that some signatures have been matched already. This means if, if we move into blocking mode, these signatures are going to be mashed and uh, the standard operation of your web application is going to be in impacted. So this is going to block our application even if you browse to different pages. So <clears throat> in order to make sure that if we move to blocking, this won't have an impact on application operation, we need to make sure these false positives will be handled first, right? So that is, that is how we deal with the false positives. So I click on the first one, and you can see that uh, F5 has some, some suggestions to obviously accept the suggestions. So you see that uh, it identifies the risk, and it's just talking about you know potential signature match or uh, and stuff like that. So we can go ahead and accept, delete, or ignore. So if we delete it, obviously, it would listen to it again. If we ignore it, obviously, we won't follow the uh, standard recommendation from F5. So we're going to accept the suggestions, right? For this one, same for this one. Obviously, if you're doing it in a production environment, you want to look at the risk rating and stuff. And when you're working on an application, if you do it manually, you want to make sure the violation rating is not really high. If it is too high, you need to make sure that it is not really, it is really a false positive and it is not really a violation. But for these ones, because I haven't, I've just installed the application, browsed a couple of pages, I know that they are uh, literally false positive. So I'm just going to click on accept again and all of these ones except the suggestions so once I've done that I apply the policy 
And uh, next time, if we go back to the uh, F5 interface and try to browse to these different pages, you see And I'm just going to log out and log back in as well. Uh, we really shouldn't see those learnings anymore, right? So we see that there is really no more learning. So we know that the standard application uh, operation is going to be okay now. So if we move the policy to blocking, this is not going to have a big impact on our application now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to change my policy to blocking. I'm going to save it. I'm going to apply the policy. So we head back to our policy traffic learning and head back to our application. We refresh, browse in different pages and you see the application is working as normal. So this is how we basically do the simple false positive or uh, policy tuning to make sure that the application operation won't be impacted. In the next video, we will be talking al about um, a few um, violation uh, and, and tuning for violation and making sure that they, the actual policy is uh, working fine uh, for blocking. So we will test some of the actual specific attacks and see how that uh, how our F5 VAF will respond to those those attacks. With that, thank you very much for viewing and I will be with you in the next video.